World Bank finally reviews names of former presidents involved in the origin of Nigeria's debt. Guys, it did very clear before. Say, with the way this our country be, now the debt will be say some of our leaders. They don't accumulate with the other government. Now make you see say things. Not balance. So. You go see say our leaders. Now there be the major problem. Where be say they make this country not they balance. So my people, my people, when I go come here at the news, follow. According to recent data from the World Bank Group Finances, so the federal government of Nigeria is still grappling with a significant debt burden of 10.6 billion accumulated during the tenors of former President Olusegun Obasanjo, Umaru Musa Yeradua, and Good Luck Jonathan. This revelation highlights the lingering impact of past borrowing on the country's finances. The consistent Nigeria total debt, both domestic and external, now 121.67 trillion as of March 31st to 2024. The domestic debt now 65.65 trillion naira, while external debt now 56.02 trillion naira. The consistent said the current administration secured 4.95 billion in foreign loans within its first 12 months. 15.55 billion was spent on debt servicing between 2019 and 2024. The consistent said the federal government is still repaying 69 loans secured between 2000 and 2014. Some of the loans still being repaid were taken out as early as 2000. This includes the 60 million community based poverty reduction project, the 55 million second primary education project, the 20 million economic management capacity building project, and the 5 million small town water supply and sanitation program pilot project. In 2001, the Council said Nigeria can acquire additional loans, such as the 100 million transmission development project, the 140 million privatization support project, and the 90.3 million HIV AIDS program development. The Council said these loans were initially secured to enhance infrastructure and tackle public health issues that have since contributed to the nation's increasing debt burden. In 2002, the country secured four major loans amounting to 438 million. This includes the 127 million second health system development project in 110 million community-based urban development project the 100 million that is lagos urban transport project and the 101 million universal basic education project why these loans were designed to improve health care urban infrastructure and education they have also added to the growing financial obligations of the country between 2003 and 2005, the country said Nigeria can obtain an additional 1.1 billion dollars in loans from the World Bank. These loans included 70 million dollars for the local empowerment and environmental management project, 100 million dollars for the second FADAMA development project. 32 million dollars for the micro, small and medium enterprises project. 140 million dollars for the federal government economic reform and governance project. 
and $120 million for the sustainable management of mineral resources projects. We did so because said the country can continue to accumulate debt to securing four point billion S dollars in loans between 2006 and 2010, followed by another 4.3 billion S dollars between 2011 and 2014. Note why loans during this time can include $200 million for the Lagos Metropolitan Development and Governance Project, $50 million for the Avier Influenza Control and Human Pandemic Preparedness and Response Project, and $180 million for the Malaria Control booster projects all obtained in 2006 the loans they fall under two major divisions of the world bank the international bank for reconstruction and development and the international development association the ibrod extends loan to middle income and credit worthy low-income countries, while the IDA that focuses on providing interest-free loans and grants to the world's poorest nations. It can be important to note that the figures mentioned do not include trust funds, financial intermediary funds, commitment, loans to the International Finance Corporation, or guarantees provided by the I B R O D. So, guys, of a truth, we not say this our country, they day into debt. But not be just to tell us, say, see the money where they collect. The reason why the debt be like this, so, the money where most of the past governments they collect, they use them for their own selfish interests. Now, something I made they collect this debt. I wish they use them wisely. They not use them. To benefit their ancestors and their future generation. You go see, say this country, no go day into debt like this. The debt where you they see so, it they big where well, where. Well. And you can't see, say this country, see they continue to borrow because of what it done their ground before now. So it go take time for this country to balance itself oh, because of what it, our past leader they don't do during their time. Oh. So my people, my people, this is our country. It don't really show say now the kind of leaders where we get now be the problem of this country. So I go end the matter for you. This now please channel. I bet make on not forget to subscribe. I salute you now.